Okay, so question 13, we've got uh, we've got a diagram here, as all, well, as nearly always, the diagram's not drawn accurately. It shows a square and four regular pentagons. Regular is an important word here. It means that all the angles inside the shape are the same and all the sides are the same length. Um, work out the size of the angle marked X. So before we go ahead with that, um, I'm gonna fill this piece of information in here. I know that that's 90 degrees. Um, I would like to know this angle here in uh, blue, if you will, and I'd like to know that angle there in blue, and then if I add up the two blue angles and the red angle and take it away from 180, that should give me X. So I need to work out what's called the interior angle of a regular pentagon. Now suppose I don't know that off the top of my head, some people will know it, some people won't, and I need to figure it out. We can use this little uh, trick here to work out the size of the angle inside the shape. What I can do is I split the shape into triangles, starting from the same point. So there's one triangle here. There's two triangles, and that's a third triangle. So we've got one, two, three full triangles. Each triangle has 180 degrees in it. So the total number of degrees inside the pentagon, the total number, will be 180 times by 3. And 180 times by 3 is not for five, 540 degrees in total inside the shape. But we have one, two, three, four, five angles inside the shape. They're all the same side, all the same size. So we do 540 divided by five to work out that interior angle. And 540 divided by five is 108 degrees. So this blue angle here is 108 degrees, as are all the other angles. So that's 108, 108 degrees. That will be 108, because they're all pentagons, five-sided shapes. Okay, so now what I need to do is add the two blue angles and the red angle and take it away from 360 to get X. So um, we're gonna have 108 plus 108, plus 90 equals, well that's going to be 216, which is going to give me 306 altogether. 30, oh, 306, let me just tidy, that doesn't look like a zero, 306, 306. Oh, and now I need to do 360 degrees, take away 306 because remember the angles at a point and there's your point all the angles at a point add up to 360 um, which is going to leave me with 54 degrees so x is 54 degrees 54 degrees